All right, guys. I was just um, I'm just in the process of doing a cheap client build. Well, quite a few of them actually for um, an office, and these are the motherboards that I'm putting in the system. So, and I just thought I'd um, review it for you guys because you know it looks like a pretty decent motherboard. So it's the Asus M4A89 GTD Pro USB 3. Okay, so it has Asus Dual Intelligent Processors, which is EPU and TPU. Uh, EPU is for um, energy efficiency and energy savings, as it says there on the box. Um, and TPU is for performance enhancement. Um, so, it has Crossfire X support and hybrid Crossfire X support because it has an onboard um, graphics chip, GPU boost. Just I think it just means that you can overclock the onboard graphics. Um, so let's just have a look at the back because it's got quite a bit to say on the back. So core unlocker. Um, I'll just let you read it actually. It's basically um, some of it, um, AMD's CPUs come with a core disabled, so you can unlock that disabled core. Um, so that's the onboard GPU overclocking, hybrid processor, Turbo V Evo. Oh, okay, that's um, overclocking within the operating system. Oh, and the auto tuning as well, um, which is pretty awesome actually. You can just set it to auto tune and it'll automatically find the highest CPU clock and memory clock for you. Um, it just churns away and um, even stability tests itself. And then when it blue screens and crashes, it just reboots and keeps going. Now, Turbo Key 2 switch on the potentials, turn up the performance. Oh, okay. So there's actually a switch on the motherboard for that, which I'll show you in a minute. So you, you had plenty of time to read that. Um, so solid state capacitors, SATA 6 gigabit support. So it's got SATA 3. Um, here we have all the specs. So it's socket AM3. It's got the 890GX Northbridge and the SB850 Southbridge. Up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 up to 1866 megahertz so it's got two PCI Express times 16 slots um, but when you run one graphics card it runs in times 16 when you run two it's times 8 times 8 so there's actually only times 16 there's only 16 PCI lanes um, so right there you can see the it's got 8 channel audio um, and you can see which audio chip it has um, Realtek Gigabit LAN it's got 12 USB 2 ports 8 midboard, 4 on the back panel and 2 USB 3 ports so really I should be showing you all this on the motherboard but because we've already covered some of it I won't have to go over it again uh, so here's the motherboard itself, but I'll just quickly show you the accessories that you get with the board. I know I don't usually um, review these mid-range, any mid-range hardware, I just go for the maximum high end. But okay, so use a manual driver's disc and you get a AMD, oh I'm sorry, an Asus sticker, quick start guide. Black IO shield and this interesting little piece of hardware. Um, it says you've actually got to plug this in to the top PCI Express slot when you're only going to run one graphics card, and you have to run that one graphics card in the blue slot, and then you get time 16. And then when you run two cards, you don't even use this thing, and you just put them in both slots. So I'm not sure why they did that. Asus Q connectors. Two SATA 3 cables, two SATA 2 cables, one 90, oh they're all 90 degree, 
and an old IDE. Okay, so let's have a look at the motherboard. So, socket AM3, as I said. It's got an 8 pin power connector up there. Um, have a look how long that is so that it could come up to the height of the um, offset heat sinks very high. It could have been a bit closer to the top as well but you know it's just how they had to design it. Um, so yeah there's the socket there. 16 gig of DDR3 as I mentioned up to 1866. So there's the Mem OK button. Um, you can oh and it's got a LED for the RAM as well. Um, so you can tell if there's an error. Mem OK button, you press that when your the computer fails to boot because of um, bad memory timings or memory incompatibility and it'll set safe settings for the memory and it'll boot every time. I actually use that quite a bit. So two switches there, we've got Turbo Key 2 and Core Unlocker. So I've talked about both of those. Core Unlocker unlocks inactive cores on some AMD CPUs and the Turbo Key 2, I'm not exactly sure, I think it allows um, you know, dynamic overclocking turbo um, but that should be enabled by default but it might enable you know, extra um, but yeah, don't quote me on that one, I'm not entirely sure so um, I'm pretty sure the Northbridge would be under here the 890GX chipset. Um, how many power phases do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. So we've got 8 plus 2 phase power. Southbridge is under there, the SB850. So we've got an ID connection there. Um, okay, so there's the CPU fan header which is 4 pin and then all the rest are 3 pin we've got a should be the power fan header there chassis fan 2 header there um, and there's another 4 pin chassis fan 1 header just there so I'm a bit all over the place I'm sorry about that um, so 2 SATA 3 ports right there um, so the rest of the SATA ports Oh no, hang on. Well, there's only two SATA, SATA 3 ports, so I'd say those are it. These would be SATA 2 ports, and there's four of them. Um, I really don't like it when they're in that position at all. That is very annoying, but luckily, I only have to install one hard drive and an optical drive, so I'll only be using those. So all the front panel... Um, power button, reset button and LED connectors uh, USB 2 so there's four of those for eight USB 2 ports up to eight USB 2 ports on the front panel um, or mid board actually so they can go to the back panel as well uh, what is that? 1394 and audio Okay, so the PCI configuration, we've got one PCI Express times 16, a PCI Express times 4, uh, that'll be another times 4, another times 16, and two old PCI slots. So as I said, 16 lanes, um, so two cards will run in times 8 times 8. Now I quite like the heat sinks on this motherboard, they look very nice. Um, it's a shame it's not a black PCB, you know, it's the dark brown, but it still looks um, still looks very nice. There's the next motherboard up from this, it's not much more expensive, has a black PCB and a whole lot more lovely features. Um, there's two versions of this board, one with the onboard um, graphics and one without it. Um, so that'll be the 890 FX, the other one has um, the, for the Northbridge chip. I'm pretty sure. So let's just have a look at the back panel. 
So PS2, two USB 2, um, optical audio, HDMI, VGA and DVI for the onboard graphics, two USB 2, Firewire, power desider, two times USB 3 and a gigabit LAN port and eight channel audio. Okay, so on the back panel we have four USB 2 and two USB 3. And then, as I said, midboard there's eight, so that's a total of uh, 12 USB 2 ports, and then there's also two USB 3. So yeah, um, don't usually review anything but the high-end hardware, but you know, I um, was in the middle of doing these builds and I thought, well, I might as well do it for the AMD fans out there. Alright, thanks for watching guys and please subscribe.